Good morning, everybody. My name is Mitch. This is my dog, Katrina. We're both survivors. She survived uh, Hurricane Katrina in Louisiana. I survived Marble Mountain in Vietnam. I was the last American at Marble Mountain. This was 1970. America pulled out at that particular time. I'm here today to talk about a war story called Four Corners. Four, four, four Corners is to uh, Vietnam as Times Square is to New York. It's, it's an amazing place. It's the crossroads, actually, of Vietnam. And that's what we're going to talk about today. This is a, a heavy-duty story, uh, and uh, I'm going to re relate what happened over there at Four Corners this particular day. This particular day, it was a nice day. The weather was good. It was 19, 1969. I was going to Four Corners with three of my bosses, Chief Petty Officer, a uh, Senior Chief Petty Officer, and a Master Chief. The Senior Chief said he wanted to drive, so we started to drive towards the Navy Piers, and we were gonna stop off at Actually, what happened was we were going on the, on the road to uh, Four Corners and we had to stop because there was a grenade in the road and they had to clear up the grenade, actually. So we had to stop. And while we were stopped, I see a kid grab the watch of somebody in a matter of a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, just grabbed the guy's watch. It was an Air Force guy's watch. He just grabbed it and, and took off it into the village with, with his watch. This UDT guy sees the kid running with the watch, so he took his, his briefcase and he threw the briefcase at the kid and knocked him down and then walked over to the kid. And the kid was saying, no, G.I., no, G.I., don't hit me, don't hit me. He gave up. Don't hit me, don't hit me. And he just, uh, he, grabbed his, he grabbed the watch back, and the UDT guy said, if we were in the bush, I would have I killed you. So the kid, the kid said, I surrender, I surrender. And uh, he, he got his watch back. He got the kid's watch back. It was an amazing thing. And my boss in the back of the Jeep says to me, Mitch, take over the driving. Take over the driving to, to the senior chief. Chief Hibner says, take over the driving. So I, we, the senior chief and myself, we switch sides. We switch sides. I'm, I'm driving. I'm going to drive now. And we're, we're waiting there at Four Corners. While we're waiting at Four Corners, some kid about nine years old says, GI number one, GI number one, GI number one. And then what happened was, while he's saying number one, number, we were all laughing, the, the four of us were laughing in the Jeep when he was saying GI number one, GI number one. We were all laughing. He said GI number one. He takes out a, a, a weapon and he, and he shoot the senior chief that was sitting right next to me, sh shot him in the head, and uh, and then we opened the M16 on, on the, we killed the, the kid that was about eight, nine years old. We all emptied our M16 on the kid. And uh, that's the story of uh, Four Corners. It was a heavy duty uh, story. This is what went on in Vietnam. They used children, women and children to kill Americans. This is what they did. The Viet Cong, this is what they did. They used children and uh, women and children to kill us. And that's what the story was. It was a heavy duty story. I'd rather lose a watch than somebody lose their life. This is this is what, what we're talking about. A watch is nothing, but we, we hear somebody lost. I'd rather lose a watch, lose a watch any day over somebody losing their life. And Vietnam was a crazy place. It's a fucked up place. and. Uh, like I said, they use women and children to, to kill us. And uh, this is our story. 
My dog had cancer, um, had cancer twice. I had three strokes actually and I'm still here. Three strokes and I'm still here and I'm lucky to be here. I'm lucky to enjoy the nice weather on this autumn day in October. It's October 17th and it's a beautiful day. And we're enjoying the weather and enjoying ourselves. The trees, birds, dogs, and this is what we're doing. We're sitting here enjoying, enjoying the weather. So, uh, I'm tell, I want to give advice to everybody out there. Don't ever give up. If, if you're depressed or you're sick, you had a stroke. I had three strokes and I'm still here and I'm still uh, functioning. I, I'm enjoying myself, walking my dog, enjoying the day. If you have a stroke or if you have cancer, or, don't give up on yourself. There's always, uh, there's always, you could always get better no matter what. You know what? I'm happy, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm looking to be alive, three strokes. Actually, people think I'm a dead man. They call me dead man walking. That's what I'm gonna write a book, dead man walking, because three strokes you don't survive, and here I am with three strokes and I'm still here. I'm lucky to be here. So that's the story we're going to call it, Dead Man Walking. Have a nice day.